It is a really good feeling to be here with all of you in person. Um, I'm Judy Estook, and I was asked to oversee um, the book review class, and my husband graciously accepted to help me. So um, I'm excited to share in that experience with him. Um, also, if Linda Knight will stand up and Margie Bingham, we're going to be gone for two of the classes and they have uh, accepted to um, host the class. Um, when we decided about what we would do, um, what kind of books we wanted, we both immediately came to the conclusion that we did not want to have fluff. We wanted books that had uh, were great substance, great substance in, that could inspire you. That would, after you finish reading it, you want to be better. Um, maybe something you learned, um, just something that was meaningful. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Ernest to just kind of highlight a few of the things that we're going to be talking about. And I do want to say before. Um, the books are listed. We would love to have you read them before you come because we don't want to be just talking to you. We would love to have a lively discussion um, where you come with maybe a, a paragraph that really touched you to share the class or something insightful. So, but if you can't, we're all busy, still come anyway. Okay. You will really enjoy it if you have a chance to attend a class with Judy, and you'll find out why she is known as Rooty Tooty Judy. <laughs> but just to give you a quick overview, because we want these to be books that, that you'll remember. Uh, now, we won't be teaching the first class. We have one of the substitutes doing that. If some of you saw the movie 12 Mighty Orphans, you ought to read the book as well. You'll get even more from that. Thank you. I'm a little taller than the microphone is. <laughs> but uh, uh, give you an example of some. When you study history, usually you study events, but you really don't understand how and why certain things came to happen and, and things develop. Well, if you're familiar with James Burke, who did the Connection series on PBS, one of his books is The Day the Universe Changed and give you the background. How did universities develop? How did art really come about the way that it has? What about the practice of medicine, the industrial revolution? It's chock full of the how and why of certain things. Judy will be teaching the class on the autobiography of a slave girl uh, who eventually escaped and how, how she hid for years in order to accomplish that. If you like John Steinbeck, I bet a lot of people have read The Grapes of Wrath or Travels with Charity, or something like that. But most people have not read his final novel, The Winter of Our Discontent. And it's, it's a fascinating book, at least it is to me. But if you want somebody that's passionate about what they teach, come to Judy's class about Joan of Arc. Do you know that the classic story of Joan of Arc was written by Mark Twain? Most people are not aware of that. And um, I'll teach a class on... The Founding Fathers, as seen through the eyes of the historian, uh, Eric Metaxas. And um, the very last class, we want people to have a chance to talk about books that made a difference to you. Now, uh, we're not trying to turn this into a religious class, so we're talking in this case about secular books. But something that's been important to you, that you have read, we want to hear from you. And that'll be the final class. So that's a little bit of an overview. Judy, you want to finish? He mentioned about Joan of Arc, and that is one of the books that really changed my life. And we all hear of legends, uh, myths that are passed down through the ages, and you kind of read them and wonder how much is true and how much is not. With Mark Twain, when he wrote this book, he went over and actually got the historical documents, the trials, word for word, and then wrote from that historical, from the historical document and the things that uh, were revealed about her life. And he says that was the most 
uh, meaningful book that he ever wrote and one that had touched him greatly. So I want, I hope I can share with you the love that I have for this young woman and what she sacrificed uh, for what was a mission from God. Okay. Thank you. See you in the class.